Yay, you found the video, nice job. We're gonna spend some time talking about the expectations for this school year. We're starting it off a little bit differently than we're used to, but it's very important to know what's expected of you as a student for this school year. Even though we're not in the building, you're still expected to be ready every day. I'm going to go through a few tips that hopefully will help you. Number one is when you wake up every morning, you should have a nice healthy breakfast. Lately, I've been having scrambled eggs and toast, and that's something that helps to give my body energy for the day so that I can also wake my brain up. That helps me focus on my work throughout the day. There are also some things that might be distractions to you. Maybe it's a tablet, maybe it's video games, maybe it's a TV, maybe it's anything else. It might be helpful to put those things in a different room so that you're not distracted and that you can focus on your work. You might even notice that I have my AirPods in. I've noticed that wearing AirPods helps me focus to the person talking to me on the screen, but it also drowns out all of the background noise. So if you have a pair of AirPods or a pair of headphones at home, maybe give it a try and see if that's something that will be helpful for you. Another tip is that you need to stay hydrated. It's always important to drink a lot of water throughout the day. Water is really good for your body and take a break to take a sip right now. <sighs> Refreshing. So we're gonna continue talking about some more expectations, but I think we need a little movement break. I don't know about you, but I've been sitting in front of my computer a lot lately. I need to thank Mrs. Belanger for this idea and I also have to thank her for a lot of things that she's given me tips on for all of these videos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 30 second timer on the screen. And I just want you to get up, move your body for 30 seconds. You can do jumping jacks. You can do line jumps. You can do push-ups. You can do sit-ups. I'm in my gym, so I'm going to use the space. I don't want you running around your house, but I want you to just get up and move your body. Wake your body up, get those muscles moving, and at the end of the 30 seconds, we'll come right back and continue on with these expectations. Ready, go. That was fun. I needed that. Make sure you drink more water. All right, now we're going to go back into our Google Classroom just like we did in the other video, but I'll explain a few more things in detail. This page should look familiar because this is the home page or the stream of our Google Classroom. Where I'm circling with my mouse right now is where you were already able to find this video that you are currently watching. We can go right up to the top of the screen, this middle word where my mouse is that says classwork. When you are ready, go ahead and click. Now that we are in the classwork section of our Google Classroom, you should be able to see these two topics. I already told you that I was using emojis next to each of my topic names, and you will notice that Mrs. Belanger has the same ones. We figured we wanted to make things easier for you to find when you're in our Google Classrooms. We're already watching the video on expectations for phys ed for the school year, so now the last thing I need to explain is what One Thing Wednesdays mean. Every Wednesday will be asynchronous, which will mean you will be doing work on your own and you will not have live teaching with me or your other teachers. We will still be available whenever you need us, 
but for assignments, you will come into our Google Classrooms. For all specialists, One Thing Wednesdays means that you have a choice to make on which activity you would like to do. You can choose between phys ed, art, music, and computer. You can pick whichever activity you would like to do that week. In the phys ed section of One Thing Wednesdays, you will always find two things. I will always have a video or an attachment of what the activity will be. This week I made an activity where you will follow along with me. Next to the video, there will always be what is called a Google Form. The Google Form will be used for you to fill in answers to tell me how you did and how you felt during the activity. I have written right up here if you would rather share how you felt and how it went a different way, you could always click on my email address that is blue and underlined right here, or you can simply send me a video message. Either way, I would absolutely love to hear from you. Before I continue, right here I have written, make sure you have a safe space to move your body. That is very important anytime we are doing any type of physical education activity. Okay, I'm gonna end it there for today. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of this, and I want to let you know that it's okay if you are feeling overwhelmed too. You're getting a lot of information today through a screen. You're probably wishing that you were back in school, seeing all your friends, meeting all your teachers, but for right now, we're going to make the most out of remote learning. I want you to know that you can reach out to me anytime you need help or anytime that you just need somebody to talk to. You can email me or you can message me right from the Clever website. I know you guys can do this. I'm proud of each and every one of you. This is going to be a hard year, but you're all really tough and I know that you can do it. I look forward to seeing all of you in Zoom. I look forward to meeting all my new students that have come to the McGlynn this year. We're gonna have so much fun. I'll see you guys soon.